So here we are in uh, December of 2018 and I want to show show viewers uh, probably the best way I've found to find TDC top dead center on cylinder number one you could also use it to find TDC or top dead center on cylinder number six if you're working on the passenger side so first I have to take off all right, I want to take off the, the fan. It just makes it much easier to, to turn, turn the engine uh, without the fan in the way. Otherwise, I'd leave it. It um, doesn't take too long, but I'll do it. I'll start it, and then I'll cut, and I'll show you, show you how I find um, TDC on a small block Chevy. You can find other videos that will show you how to find TDC by taking out spark plug number one and then cranking it. I don't want to do that. I have some some valve cover gaskets that are rubber and so I can continue to reuse them. So I find it easier to just take out the valve covers and pay attention to, to the rocker arms and the valves opening. Now that I have the valve cover off, um, I want to show you how I determine if I have TDC or not. And if you see on uh, the very first valve, that's exhaust, and that's all the way open. So right now we're on exhaust, and then I need to turn the engine, and once I see the intake open and close, that is compression. That is compression and I just need to line up the timing mark on the harmonic balancer and then I would have TDC but I'll, I'll show it. Alright, here we go. Oops. 
so exhaust is most likely closed or close to it and now intake is going to start to open and that'll be our intake stroke and then once it closes that's our compression stroke and it's just about on TDC so you should be able to see that um, the intake valve is opening that's the intake stroke and then we're going to come up on compression stroke soon Okay, now it's starting to close. The uh, valve is going back to its seat, and we're gonna be coming up on compression stroke. So now we're on compression. Now I could adjust the valves for number one, or drop in the distributor, and I'd be ready to fire my car, uh, depending on whether I change the distributor, took off the intake, change the intake, or if I needed to adjust my valves first, then I could dro drop in a distributor and be ready to fire up the car. So on uh, cylinder number one, when it's on compression stroke, both valves are closed. And again, showing you the exhaust valve open and then closing, and then ha having the intake valve open and then close. That's how I determine TDC, and now I could adjust the valves or the rocker arms on cylinder number one if that's what I was going to do. But uh, just so everybody can see, I'll also show you the timing mark on the harmonic balancer. Should be able to see that there's a timing mark uh, on the harmonic balancer. There's a timing mark on the, on the timing tab. Uh, it's up on TDC. And cylinder number one is on compression. Ready to drop in a distributor or ready to adjust the valves. That's how I do it. Yes, I have to take the valve cover off, but just find it easier than to, especially if you're by yourself, go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's and you can get some rubber valve cover gaskets that you can continue to reuse. Alright, thanks for watching.